this is Kristen Nicholas, author of Color by Kristen and Kristen Knits, and today I'm going to teach you how to make Lazy Daisy flowers on knitwear. Lazy Daisies are on the Bloomsbury gloves and on the Best Friends pullover, and both of these are in Color by Kristen. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to do the Lazy Daisy. I have another video called Chain Stitch Video, and Lazy Daisy is a derivation. Lazy Daisy are these little petals here that are on the side of this flower motif here. And on this glove, they are the flowers that are on the side right here in the chartreuse. Let me show you how easy this is to do. Right here I have a spider web that I show you in one of my other videos. And I'm going to put Lazy Daisies around the outside of this spider web. To start, I'm going to turn to the back and take a couple little stitches. I'm actually doing this right in the under part of the um, spider web so it's not going to show through. Turn your work to the front and going to come up right on the outside edge of my spider web. And I'm going, so I'm on the front of the fabric, I'm going to put the needle in and take a stitch about three quarters of an inch long. I'm going to wrap the yarn around and pull. Do not pull too tight. You just sort of want it to float. And to anchor the petal, you go to the back and come up. You can pack them close or have them sparsely packed, depending on what you want. You don't want to pull it too tight again. Take another stitch about three quarters of an inch long and I wrapped it around. I did that a little fast. Sorry, I'll, let me do a slower one. Okay, this anchors it off. So I'm doing that in one stitch, going to the back and coming up for the next one. Okay, three quarters of an inch long. Wrap, pull, and anchor. And I'm going to keep working all the way around the outside of this spider web. I'll be back in a second with it finished. Okay, here is my spider web with my lazy daisies around it. Here's my last petal. I took a three quarter inch stitch. I'm wrapping and pulling, not pulling too tight. Now, if you were to pull too tight, let me show you this. Pull too tight, it's gonna look like that. Messy, messy. Just take the back of your needle and un thread it and now it's loose again and you can adjust it so there's always unlike knitting it's really easy to rip out embroidery and easy to redo and that's it go to the back take a couple stitches and it's done thanks for watching my lazy daisy tutorial you can check out my blog getting stitched on the farm Visit my website, www.kristinnicholas.com, where you can buy my books, Color by Kristen, Kristen Knits, and many other books I've written. Check out my other videos on YouTube, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.